summers are short in the far north of Europe. The Baltic Sea is warm enough to swim in for just a few short weeks. Except here, in an inlet on the Swedish coast, where a nuclear power station returns its cooling water to the sea. The water's 10 degrees warmer than the sea beyond the outfall, providing pleasant swimming for four months of the year. There's no radiation in the water? No, <laughs> absolutely not. It's just the cooling water, so uh, it just passes through, through the system very rapidly, so it's nothing, uh, it's perfect, perfectly safe. With hydro and nuclear power providing 90% of its electricity, Sweden has one of the lowest per capita outputs of greenhouse gas in the developed world. With 80% of its electricity generated by burning coal, Australia has the second highest. As the evidence for global warming becomes undeniable, voices from both major parties are calling for a new debate on nuclear power. I think in Australia that we owe it to ourselves and more importantly to future generations of not only Australians but other people throughout the world to look at the nuclear option as one of the things that we need to consider for our future. On Four Corners tonight, is it time the country which supplies uranium to the world looks its fears about nuclear power in the face?